This is a demonstration of how to insert the cable for the Bluefish 2 H2 housing for the Toshiba or Konix head. We're going to start off with showing you a cable and there's three different fittings that fit into the Bluefish housing. We have a blue, we have a black, and we have a silver. Okay, there's three different sizes. The silver is for the Iconix head, while the blue and the black are for the Toshiba. And I'll show you a little bit more in detail in these. So, starting off by coming over into the instruction manual, page 10, you will see that there is a structure fitting of, you see, one, two, three, four different O-rings, and you see it in order that the way it needs to be assembled. Okay? So, I'm going to come down to the cable. Very important with the cable. When you're inserting the cable, you want to make sure that there are no cuts, nicks, or dings into the cable for the fact of once it's installed into the bluefish housing, if there's any cuts or, or nicks into the cable, the air and water can seep into the cable that will get infected into the housing. Now, for the cables, there is the fittings that will fit around the cable. Okay, we have a blue, we have a black, and we have a silver. Okay, now each one of them are a different size. Now you'll notice that the blue fits the best onto the cable. So we'll be using the blue. Now with the instructions, assistance from the pictures from the booklet, we will be inserting these fittings in this order. I found it to be the easiest to insert the two middle washers first. But we'll be using the cone shape to go over the cable end. And we'll be inserting the first O-ring. Now we'll insert the smaller O-ring. It's tight, but it will work. It's just a little bit more difficult pulling them off. All right. Put one O-ring on. I'm just going to put all the O-rings on right now. All right. Now we have all the O-rings on. Now, I'll be taking our first assembly. Okay, now you want to make sure that I cut my fingernails next time. Um, you want to make sure that we put the indention away from the fitting. So, as you can see, the o ring slides right into there. The next o ring will fit right on the outside. This is to help to give it and make it seal. The last o ring will go on our outer fitting. So now, as you can see, how it fits and makes it seal. And you can see how it makes it and fits over the seal. As demonstrated in the booklet, get, it makes it a little difficult to kind of understand, but you can see in picture number three, the stages of our assembly. So now, With our assembly here, we have our outside piece be fitting onto the cable. It makes it sometimes easier to put it on first if you have a really long cable, 50, 100 foot cable. It makes it a little bit easier if you put it on first. So what we're going to do here, and insert it. And you feel the snugness of the cable inside the housing. Now, 
What I say is leave this loose until we until you put it inside your housing with the camera. The camera will fit onto the front side. If we'll put the camera inside of here, we'll insert this first. And same thing with this. So with this, we'll insert the camera. We'll insert the camera onto here, put the camera into its spot, and then assemble the back end for the cable. And this will secure our airtight fitting. And always, of course, you want to make sure that there's no debris, cross cables, kinks into the cable. And there you go. You have a nice airtight, and you notice the cable does not slide back and forth in there, so it is, it is made a nice tight seal inside of your bluefish housing. All you need to do is insert camera, and you'll notice that there is actual pressure, positive pressure, inside of the, the housing. So if I hold it there long enough, and let it go, it's not going to, the only air that's going to seep out of this housing should come through the cable itself. That's the only place that air could, could escape is the opposite end of the cable. That's why it's very important to make sure that there are no nicks or dings anywhere along the line of the cable because that will be your weak point and have water soak the housing. And thank you very much for this week's episode of how to insert cables into your underwater bluefish housing.